Turksat. Past, present, and future exist at the same moment. They are all building new experiences that inspire great ideas and breakthroughs in the blink of an eye. In the pursuit of innovative technologies, Turksat, one of the world's leading satellite operators, is now stronger in space with its new satellite fleet. TurkSat 3A communication satellite at the 42 degree east location offers both satellite telecommunication and direct TV broadcasting services via Europe, Turkey, and Central Asia. TurkSat 4A provides broadcasting services within a wide area covering Turkey, Africa, Europe, the Middle East, and Asia on KU Band. TurkSat 4B, a multi-band satellite, ensures high flexibility of switchability and connectivity among different service areas and provides services over a wide geographic region between west of China and east of England, spanning Turkey as well as Europe, Central Asia, the Middle East, and Africa on both KU Band and KA Band. Thanks to Airbus state-of-the-art technology, the most powerful satellite of the TurkSat fleet, TurkSat 5A, upon being operational with 10 kilowatts payload power, will be active across a wide area at the 31 degree east orbit covering Turkey, Europe, the Middle East, North Africa, Central okay, one load is Africa, complete. South Africa, as well as the Mediterranean and the Aegean Sea and the Black Sea. With its satellite fleet, TurkSat focuses on rising values and technologies in satellite communication. TurkSat is an alliance of values that opens doors to the world and inspires communication with its reliable and expert staff investing in the knowledge of the future. We are in an age where information is instantly shared. Our expectations are rapidly changing. Technology is leading us to new experiences. We proudly proceed on a path illuminated by the information that makes our lives meaningful in the age of communication. While new experiences inspire great ideas, TurkSat of the future invites you to be a part of this moment. TurkSat, Space Age in Communications. Mission Control. Off. Flight computer has entered startup. We have confirmation of start out. We're just waiting for launch director's go for launch call out. Turkset 5A, Falcon 9, LD is go for launch. And you've heard it, we're 30 seconds away. All systems are go for an on-time launch of Falcon 9 with the TurkSat 5A satellite, our first launch for this year. 30 seconds. T-minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. And 
30 seconds into flight on the Falcon 9. All engines are running at full power. We are preparing to enter through our first major milestone after liftoff, max Q. It's going to occur at T plus one minute, 12 seconds. We're gonna, we're gonna throttle those engines down. We've confirmed nominal status from the avionics team. Next, max Q, that's when the vehicle experiences the greatest amount of dynamic pressure. We throttle those engines down and afterwards we thought of them back up to keep dynamic pressures below a Falcon certain level. Is supersonic. Max Q. We've successfully crossed the max Q threshold. Everything is looking good with the first stage of trajectory. Next, we're going to start our MVAC chill. This is going to help us prepare for the next three major events. They occur one after another. The first one, those nine Merlin 1D engines are going to cut off. That's known as MECO or main engine cutoff. Right after that, the first and second stage will separate. And then the Merlin vacuum MVAC engine, engine on the second start. stage will turn on. That's known as SES-1. Welcome back again to our launch coverage of the Turksat 5A mission. One quick note, we're actually not spinning the second stage in this mission, but unfortunately I can confirm we had a good orbit after our second engine start, which is great news. If you're just joining us, we have one more major milestone coming up in about 10 seconds. That's the deployment of the Turksat 5A satellite. Deploy confirms. And you can see it. We have confirmation of successful payload separation of the Turksat 5A satellite, and that will now bring today's webcast coverage to a close. Before we go, we really want to thank Airbus, our customer, for entrusting us with the Turksat 5A satellite. This mission marked the fourth launch and landing for this Falcon 9 booster. It was also SpaceX's 71st successful booster landing, as well as SpaceX's 50th time for flying a reflown booster. Also, it's our first launch for 2021. To the range and the FAA, we appreciate having your support and acceptance for today's mission. And to all of our viewers, you, as always, thank you for tuning in and have a great evening.